Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, Olivia Bowden here from VTIC. Welcome to the final webinar uh, for 2017. We've had a terrific series of 10 webinars this year, and today is our final one. Uh, we finished the year in terms of our webinar series with a hugely interesting and innovative topic. Um, we're covering virtual reality marketing today, and here to take us through 360 virtual wayfinding virtual tours and virtual reality marketing is Jason Swaffield, Director at Verticom, one of our members. Um, so terrific to have you here, Jason. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Olivia. Pleasure to be here. Verticom is known for their cutting edge 360 digital media and world class marketing assets. And in particular, you guys service uh, the hotel and hospitality, tourism, commercial and real estate industries. We do. That's right. Um, so thankfully, we're here in the offices of web firm today, our digital uh, digital marketing partner. Thank you so much for having us again, Andy. No, you're absolutely welcome. Uh, to have you all here. Yeah, sweltering outside, 37 degrees it's gonna get to today, but we're gonna stay nice and cool in here. Uh, so over to you, Jason, to take us through today's webinar. Thanks, Olivia, Thank appreciate you. it. Hi everyone, thanks for coming along today. Um, I'll just go to the first slide and um, let's get started. Okay, so um, as Olivia was saying, we, do, we specialise in 360, that's all we do. A um, couple of reasons for that, which we'll go through everything um, fairly step-by-step -step way, but firstly, um, probably where I want to start is just our phrase, um, go there before you go there. If I could just pause on that for a moment, because really that really embodies what 360 marketing is all about. Um, these days, you're probably all aware that people are quite desensitised um, to sales pitches and, and to, to lots of forms of marketing. Uh, people know they're being sold to and, and you've got to find a way to uh, to find that balance of how do I engage people, get them interested um, and, and try and obviously sell them a product or a service. Um, a bit, um, and to do that, you have to be different. And 360 is all about being different and standing out. Um, so we call in the phrase, go there before you go there, because that's really what virtual marketing does. It takes your customer into your business or into your uh, tourist area or, or into wherever you want them to go. Um, and it does it before they may decide to go there and it empowers them with the choice to come and see your store or your location. So so that's why we use that phrase. It's uh, it's a bit of an underpinning phrase, which you'll see the relevance of as we, as we go forward. Um, um, essentially, um, 360 marketing is about building trust um, and finding ways to invite people into, into your business. So um, as we go along here, please shoot through any questions. Um, we'll obviously, we'll, we'll grab them as they come along. Um, the first thing we'll go through today is why you need virtual media marketing for your business. Why is it actually important? And we'll go through what that is um, in, in some steps um, shortly. The second thing we'll cover is um, why 360 tours um, are now one of the most powerful forms of marketing, because they, they are. Um, they've been uh, growing for the past probably two years in terms of how, how effective and, and how amazing they can be. Um, and they have really taken centre stage as being one of the most powerful forms of marketing. And, and I'll show you why um, in just a few moments. Um, uh, very importantly, um, the best type of virtual media for your business. Um, clearly, um, you can go out and, and get this or that, but you have to know exactly what it is that you are wanting to achieve. Um, like any marketing, you have to know what your goal is, what your message is, and you have to know um, really why you're, you're choosing a particular type of virtual marketing. Um, and, and we'll go through a few examples of those um, shortly as, as well. Um, at the end, um, we've got an offer for VTIC members exclusively. Um, we obviously, this is obviously our busy period. Spring and summer is, is a hugely busy time for us. Um, but um, we have a, a limited offer to help you guys um, take advantage of some 360 marketing for yourselves. And we'll go through that as well. Um, and then we'll cover things like, you know, what you'd expect to pay and, uh, and obviously what would be right for you. So we'll cover those four things today. Um, so let's, um, let's get back to, um, I guess, a bit of a summary. So. First of all, um, I just would like to open by saying that 360 marketing is absolutely for everyone. Um, a lot of businesses we talk to say they're not sure because you know, that may be just for a sports venue or maybe just for a, a bit of a, a bar that wants to jazz up its, you know, its scene at night. It's not. It's absolutely for everybody. Um, the biggest mistake that people make um, is that they think, well, it's not for me because I don't want to show people too much. I don't want them. I don't want them to see everything that I've got in case they reject it online and perhaps don't come in. Um, 
and and what I would say to that is that nowadays, um, because people are so desensitised, um, you have to just choose what matters most and absolutely show people everything about your business that you want them to see. Um, if it's a restaurant, if it's a, if it's a um, maybe a tourist area, if it's an attraction. Um, now people spend so much time, 80, 90 percent, um, some some users spend so much time looking online for what they want. If they don't see it there, often they're not even going to come to you in the first place. So the the, the grounds have changed, the rules have changed. Um, it's very much a case of show them a lot of what you want them to see um, and get them engaged pretty quickly. Um, so if we create openness and we create content, then of course we can create trust and that can build to people clicking on um, your website from a tour or clicking on it from a social media platform and coming to talk to you, coming to see you. So it's about creating an entirely new way of engaging your customers. Um, there's some examples, um, as you can see, everything from restaurants, um, sports venues, um, theatres. We did a lovely one down in uh, outer east in Dandenong where they wanted to show people what is the view like from certain seats in their theatre, oh, which wow. is fantastic because, um, you know, you had to book a seat, well, you know, stall section one, well, what does that actually mean? Well, instead of just a photo, show them the 360 experience. Absolutely show them that they can look around left to right, where's the stage, where's the exit, you know, where, where's the coffee wow. bar anything that they want to see. So hotels, we've done a fairly big one for Grand Hyatt. We've got several other hotels underway um, where they wanted to show international tourists um, what their rooms were like, um, what their business venues were like, what their bars were like, what their foyers were like. And and two out of three people, which we'll go through some stats a little later, but about two out of three people want to see what that hotel room is like before they book. Um, they're becoming so used to seeing virtual imagery that they want to know what it's like. Um, in a lot of ways, um, 360 marketing is um, sort of heads and shoulders above a 2D picture or even a video. So um, hotels love it as well. We can do videos. That's where you see the people with those horrible headsets on and, and they're having a look around. But it's very effective, particularly as a sales tool or, or a bit of a, an exciting um, maybe asset you want to throw around social media. Very cool. Um, we've done libraries. We've done historic venues, shopping centres. We've got an Eastland demo on our website. Um, and we've got a big tourism push, of course, which is why we're here today. So um, that is the lifeblood of what we do for 360. And on our website, you'll see a, um, a, a fairly big a wayfinder all the way down from St Kilda Road, all the way down to um, MCEC, uh, over to Fed Square. Walk around virtually, enjoy the scenery. It's a lovely day online when you look at the tour. Um, and uh, and it, it is a huge, it was a great day. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So it was about eight kilometres of, of wayfinding path, and it's all virtually recorded. And it's cool. You have a look through and you can see shops and bridges and cafes and um, and the benefit of that is all those businesses can can be linked to from that virtual tour. Um, so that's called wayfinding and we'll get to that as well in just a, in just a little bit. So what, what I'm trying to do is paint the picture of the fact that no matter what sort of business you've got, whether it's a mum or dad cafe or it's a Grand Hyatt Melbourne, um, there is a way that virtual marketing uh, will work for you. And there's some examples of some of the uh, companies that have come on board, even just in the past 12 months with what we do. Um, uh, so as you said, there's a whole range of different businesses there, um, from, from bars to councils to, to uh, shopping centres. So it's, uh, there, there's no limit as to what you can do. Some big names there. Mm. Jason is having a look, a lot in the tourism industry, obviously, but also very much outside of that as well. Yeah, very much. And, I, and they'll have a common denominator in terms of obviously, you know, tourism is a big yep. part of it. Um, and uh, I think that the big guys recognise that they need to offer the little guys under their care a yeah. lot of assets as well, which is why Texas have come on board for Southgate. Um, City of Port Phillip, they wanted to show people how to walk up the beach, the new surf life saving centre, mm. the amenities, the parking, things like that. Mm. And that's, again, that's wayfinding, which we'll show. And the zoo had a new um, a new um, little meerkat little display. So we actually put a camera in the middle of the meerkat display and you see them running past the camera and the, and the feed is actually giving them some grain and it's wow. very cool stuff. So, and that's only the start of what we can do. It's, it's really exciting. Um, um, so it's, it's lots of things we can do. So, so um, let's go back to the first point. Um, why you need virtual media marketing for your business? And I'm going to keep this fairly sort of uh, fairly light, fairly high level, um, because really um, you need to understand uh, some basics before you even think about whether it's right for you. So the first question we always get from everybody is, well, why should I care? You know, it's another marketing thing. Really, why should I care? Well, you should care because these companies do. You might recognise those brand names. Um, and really, when we look at it, these brand names underpin everything that we do every day. 
So whether it's technology, whether it's the internet, whether it's social media, whether it's our phones, um, these guys underpin um, everything that we do on, on a commercial level. Um, and they've invested billions and billions of dollars um, for about three and a half years now to ensure that um, 360 Media VR is going to be um, the next wave, and it already has started. Um, and in fact, they've invested almost to the tune of trillions in terms of global investment, um, because what they do is they shape the way that your phones work, your internet works, um, how your e-commerce plans will work, um, and they make it possible for you to have 360 Media directly to your customers. One second. Okay, okay. So this is what it's all about. These guys are all embracing 360 and it is the next big thing. And that's why I'm here today is to show you guys why it's the next big thing and what, how it can benefit you. So together, all these companies, they literally influence three out of four of your customers, if you can imagine that. So um, literally three out of four people that you consider to be your customer are going to be influenced in some way by um, Google, Facebook, uh, how they do it, how Amazon decides to run, um, what can go on your website even. Um, and mm. the guys at WebFirm would know that media uh, is, rich media is absolutely essential. Um, and the more rich media you put on there, that's focused, that's clear, that has a purpose for being there and can drive business to your um, to your uh, your pocket um, is important. So when you consider the fact that so many people are influenced um, by the companies who are all supporting 360 Media, it's a pretty huge deal to, to think mm. about that. So. And I think if you look at the stats, I think about 90% um, of users use Google and about 92% use Facebook. So, you know, and these two platforms support it heavily. So you really want to have a look at, um, you know, 360 is already disrupting people's businesses. Um, it's in a good way. Um, and please, I'm not urging you not to be left behind and have a look at the next few slides and see what you think. Okay, so this is a slightly boring slide, but it's important. Um, VR and, and 360 marketing has doubled. Uh, last year to this year, and it's set to double to next year, and it's set to double to the year after even more. So, um, and these people who are going to be using uh, devices that support 360 media, these are your customers. These are people who are going to be looking for the next experience. And and when the cafe that they saw last week on Facebook had a 360 tour through the cafe, and they see another cafe online, they're going to remember the fact that they had an amazing 360 experience and the next one may not have a 360 experience mm -hmm. and therefore the do don't compare very evenly. So it's about protecting your business and, and really getting involved um, in a, a medium that's going to excite people and keep up with their competitors especially. It's uh, it's hugely important. So sort of understanding a bit more about um, the, the push behind 360, let's just have a look now at, um, at why it is, what I'm saying it is, one of the most powerful forms of marketing um, that there is. So. If we ask the question, you know, well, what exactly is 360 marketing? Perhaps the best way to answer that, um, and based on a lot of conversations that we've had with a lot of people, is to firstly ask the question, well, let's look at what it isn't. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about what it is when we mention it to customers. Um, firstly, um, it's not just Google Street View. Uh, okay, P people sort of think, oh, I've got Google, I'm on, they can walk past my shop. It's not Google. Google's great um, and Google is, is awesome, in fact. It, it really does underpin what we do. But um, you should own your 360 media content. Uh, it should be on your website. Um, if you want traction, if you want a lot of, a lot of activity to generate bucks for you, really want to look at generating your own content because um, 360 on Google is, is not not nearly enough. Um, and it's also, you've seen those people wearing those funny headsets, the, the, or HMDs, the Google Bibles. Look, they're great. Um, they're really great for some applications, but they're not for everyone. Um, in fact, I would say that 90% of the customers that, that we help with 360 content don't care about goggles. They don't really expect their customers to use goggles. They really know that their customers live and breathe on their phones, mm. on their PCs, on their tablets. That's where they know their customers are. So in that way, Jason, I imagine it's a far more accessible form of form of marketing. Exactly. You don't need any infrastructure, you don't need well, goggles. Not at all. Not right. at all. No. And you don't have to expect your, your customers to have them either. You, yeah. just, you just don't. Um, the, the few customers who do um, use goggles, they give them to their sales teams for maybe international demonstrations yeah. or expos. But really, um, it, that's why it's so low cost. It's easy to put together. You don't have to, you know, hope that your customers have the right tools. Mm. No, they use their phones, they use their um, they use their tablets and the PCs, which is really, really great. Um, so that's what 360 is not. Um, not downplaying Google, but you need more than just what they offer. So let's look at what 360 marketing actually is. Now, 
there's a lovely big shot of the uh, 360 virtual tour we did for the MCG, which was an awesome experience to do that. Um, and the, the biggest thing about um, what 360 actually is, it's about creating a tourist walk around your business. It's about a, maybe a museum tour where they can walk through exhibits. Um, it's also about retail shopping where you can put um, specials and promos into your tours. Uh, it's about restaurant booking where while someone's looking at the inside of your cafe um, on, a, on their mobile phone, on Facebook, sitting in a park somewhere with their friends, they can book tickets from inside a virtual tour um, from their phone from Facebook. It's really, really cool. So the power of what you can create um, is almost limitless. There's lots of tools that we've got which can help each sort of business. Um, I think one we're even with one group putting in a bit of a, a chat room interface into their uh, into their room, which is great. So while people are um, looking through the virtual tour, they can sort of have a chat, which is great, um, and essentially find your way anywhere. So. If it's a retail shop to a specials board, if it's a restaurant to a menu, if it's an MCG, how do I get to gate three? Where's the members lounge? Where's the toilets? Where's the car park? Where's the train station? So these are things that are super important. And, and hence, going back to our lovely, lovely phrase, go there before you go there. When you go somewhere virtually, you, you automatically have trust. You automatically have the experience of having been there before. And as everybody knows, if you've been somewhere before, it's far more powerful in your mind than if you've maybe read a book or been told about it or just seen a 2D print somewhere. Um, because 360 overcomes barriers and it creates that, that level of trust. And people stay longer on a 360 experience, which we'll go over in, in just a second. Mm. Um, so. Um, 360 is very diverse. So um, the first one is, I said, wayfinding, and, and that's perfect for tourism. And that's where you actually go from a car park to a to a front of a building, um, around a building, maybe to the to the beach behind. Uh, you might go to another space or, or, or a public activity area. It's really, um, and if you tap on our website, you'll see that the, um, uh, the Yarra River Melbourne virtual tour. You can literally jump um, onto the front of Southgate Shopping Centre, walk down South Bank, go to the Lower Promenade, walk over the bridge, go to Fed Square, all in virtual space, and you. You can navigate that space and if you've never been there before um, maybe a tourist has never been there before you can actually you know get a visual idea of where do you go and how do you find things virtually it's uh, it's very cool very powerful um, the second part of it is the business tours and that's when um, as I mentioned before you can embed things into your tour so it might be a menu it might be a picture it might be a video it might be a, a, an audio tag it might be a social media link but you can bring people into your business um, show them around your restaurant or your uh, your venue uh, it might be a wedding venue could be a hotel doesn't matter what it is um, and you can actually um, show people inside your business um, the the video and VR side of things Perfect for sales teams, as I mentioned. Um, uh, if you're interstate and you want to book a, a venue in Melbourne, um, the best way to see that space is through virtual reality, um, through a, a virtual tour of that space. Um, look up, down, look all around, see everything in 360, and therefore um, the, the ability to sell that space is far, far easier because people can appreciate the space. And again, it builds trust, it builds confidence, um, and it, it gets over those questions of is it big enough? Well, you can see for yourself with your own eyes that it's big mm. enough. So it's very powerful. Um, and the last one is 360 showcases, and I'll um, I'll probably show that's a little bit different. Um, if you've ever seen real estate showcase where you can literally walk through a house, that's what those are. Um, everyone's usually seen one in their life, um, and it's the ability to step inside a house and literally make your own way through every room, every mm -hmm. every hallway, into the backyard, into the kitchen. Um, for these types of things, it, it's about going through office spaces, meeting rooms, going through common areas. It's a very very powerful way to to bring someone into your business. So what we've done with some customers actually is we have the staff sitting at their desks. Um, and we actually move the camera through the building and we have little tags next to each staff, staff member saying, hi, my name's Joanne, um, I do this, here's my contact number, call me. And it's a really personal way of, of showing your business to a customer. And that's what it's all about, is creating a personal experience. Mm. Um, the experience is the key, quite fun. Are there, just a question um, I thought of then, do people feel greater engagement when they actively have to drive their way through something like this with click through actions as opposed to sitting there and watching something unfold in front they of you. They do. Yeah, that they do, Olivia. That, that, and that's a great question because um, when someone is in charge of, of how they're moving through a space, um, it, it stops becoming a sales pitch mm. and it becomes an experience. Mm. So if people are actively clicking through to the next room or to the next room or to the next corner or to the next street, um, what you find is it becomes an experience that they remember as if they were actually there. Um, so they're far more engaged and our engagement rates um, are a lot higher in virtual tours than anyone sees in videos and photos or 
got my phone in the catalog. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we'll go, there's a bit of a slide later on, but it's a good to talk about it here because when you look at those four um, types that you can actually use on your on your site for your business, mm -hmm. um, we, we get about seven and a half minutes um, on average that people spend on a virtual tour. Now in terms of marketing time, that is huge. absolutely huge, um, and it's because it's, it doesn't. It's not perceived as a marketing tool. It's perceived as an experience. You want to see inside. You want to walk through. And the interesting thing is, once someone's had that virtual experience, um, the brain treats it like a memory, um, oh. and so it actually becomes more of a familiar thing in their in their memory than as if they've just seen a brochure. Yes. It, it's 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 a live experience for them. Yes. So let's have a look at a few stats on the back of that question. Um, is how powerful is it? Um, and as I mentioned there on the slide, it's so powerful, it's now all that we do. Mm. And it's, it's taken up everything that we do because it is it's such a growing market. Mm. So these are a few stats, but they are very, very important stats. Um, you can understand that if you have 40% more views um, than, uh, than a regular marketing experience, that, that's pretty huge. Mm. It, it's, a, it's amazingly huge. So, um, and you can see there, seven times higher uh, than uh, video rates. Mm -hmm. um, and I mentioned before about hotels, two and three people want to see a virtual product before mm. they buy or they book or they even visit. Um, and we'll get a lot more clicks. Um, so your business will experience a lot more uh, click revenue uh, from the tours. Um, bookings increase dramatically. Um, this has been a statistic which has come out of the uh, out of Canada actually. We actually um, replicated it here in Australia. In actual fact, we had um, we did the at Eastland did the, the Realm Library at Eastland, the new big Eastland Realm Library. Um, and in five months, we doubled their business registrations from two hundred and I think ten to about four hundred and fifty. Wow. Um, we doubled their registrations. We went mm. we went through there and we did an audit um, with their permission and we and we talked to clients um, and and we asked them okay well what actually um, was the purpose for you registering? About 80% actually said um, they were impressed with the virtual tour um, and they decided it, it gave them a sense of space, um, it gave them a sense of what they could expect, they could envisage what they could use the space for and they booked. Um, so that's huge. It was mm -hmm. over 200% over, over of the original numbers, which is great. 92% um, of users, I mean, that's a lot of users. Um, you know, have the uh, ability to see it um, and, and want to obviously um, browse online um, and see virtual tours and as I said 750% more time watching virtual tours and videos. So that slide, just leave it there for a second so people online can read it. It's, it just shows you how powerful it actually is. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a website, um, to plug in a 360 experience is a massive asset. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a website and you've only got a Facebook page, you can still put a 360 experience on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got a YouTube channel, you can put a 360 experience on a YouTube channel. Um, if you've got Pinterest, then you can um, tag obviously still images back to your tours off Pinterest. So there is every single way that you can, you can to actually engage 360 experience for your uh, customers. This is probably of pertinent time um, to mention that we will be sharing this on our YouTube channel, um, this webinar itself. So a lot of content here, a lot of um, stats that you'll be able to um, to access in the next 48 hours. Um, and everyone who is on board um, today, I'll send you an email with the link, so you'll get that in your email inbox. So um, don't frantically scribble um, notes; you don't need to. And um, keep those questions coming through. I haven't forgotten. Um, we'll get to them soon, and um, and yeah, keep them coming. Okay, great. Okay, so I um, think we happy to jump to the next slide? Yeah. Okay, right, so let's jump to the next slide. So um, the best type of virtual uh, media type for your business. Essentially, there's three types, um, if we look at the bottom three there. So we've covered, and I've mentioned Wayfinder a few times, here, and that's because it's just so important. Um, essentially, a 360 Wayfinder and Business Builder. So let me use Yarra River Melbourne as an example. I mentioned before there's a tour online. So, um, and I would encourage you to go and have a look at that tour. It really shows it really well. Um, and we're updating that tour um, in January with all the new businesses that are coming online off that tour. And what that means is you can imagine jumping online and being able to, you know, look left, right, up, down, go walk from um, National Gallery of Victoria, walk down the Esplanade, down the Promenade, down the Lower Promenade, go past St Evans Walk, walk down past Crown, go past the MCC, walk over to Boat Builders Yard. Um, you can walk the whole length virtually. Um, and then from that, uh, you can link into, or you will be able to, once we finish updating it in January, you'll be able to link onto restaurants, um, Eureka Tower, uh, and places like that. So a wayfinding 360 experience becomes a massive marketing tool to both build businesses um, and also if you're a destination for travel and tourism to show people where to park 
uh, where to go to the toilet, where to book, and how to get around your site. And that's called 360 wayfinding, um, which is which is fantastic. The second one is 360 virtual tours. That one there, and again, these are all online on our um, on our website, uh, and the link is in the slide um, coming up shortly, is um, obviously hotel rooms, um, event spaces, where you can actually show indoor and outdoor spaces in 360, um, which is massive. We can customise the experience, so there's menus which show you can jump to um, this room or that room, you can jump outside, jump to the barbecue area, jump to the booking room, um, jump, jump to the ticket office, jump to the stadium. Um, we customise the experience so it becomes a very fluid, very easy, very exciting experience for, for a, a buyer to, to experience. And we with plenty of ways to click to either contact you or click to go to your social media page or click to go to your website or, or click to book. Um, it's all about building business so um, we build those tools into these tours. And the third one is a, uh, a 3D showcase which is essentially um, that one there is the left bank that we did on South Bank um, where essentially it draws someone into the experience and gives them a guided tour. Um, so, you, so hands off the mouse, sit back and watch and you step into that place and it just takes you around every corner, every table into, into the entrance and it shows you um, hands free a really beautiful way um, through that space in full 3D um, uh, you know, virtual animation. It's a lovely way to do things. So people can choose one or two or three of these or they can, they can integrate all three. We can we can customise an experience for every single business. That's a little bit different. Um, so that, they're the three types. Um, and if we look at what you can put into those, um, alluding to some of the points we made before. So if you can imagine a 360 space of your own business. So just sort of close your eyes for a second. Think about your cafe or your event space or your hotel or, or your, your tourist um, beach, whatever it might be. Um, if you can imagine once you're going through that virtual experience, if you imagine your menu appearing up on a wall, which you can interact with. Uh, if you can imagine your, your, you've spent 10 grand on a video that you love and you want to use it, well, embed that into the 360 experience. So when you're turning your head around on this 360 experience, there is your video playing on a wall, giving your sales points to the customer whilst they're inside your 360 experience. So your other um, 2D video uh, and photo assets don't go to waste. We can include them into your 3D experience and take your marketing completely to another level. It's just fantastic. Um, contact forms, we often put contact forms inside the virtual experience, which is, uh, which is brilliant because clearly the main thing is this is to build business. This is to drive customers to you. Um, and because the engagement levels are so high and because people spend so long um, and the trust is built so easily, the higher uh, click-through rates are evident. It's, it's really quite beautiful. Um, take a booking, um, promote a special, um, and some businesses we're talking to, more on the commercial side, are even starting to use what we're doing for training and induction. Mm -hmm. So um, walk through a building, understand where the, where the printers are, where the toilets are, where the staff rooms are, and virtually having an induction tool. So we do that as well which is quite exciting actually. Um, and some of the companies we're talking to even uh, have, have a little um, company criteria assessment sheet on there. So in other words, you know, oh. is question and answer form. Um, so it, ma it makes for an interesting tool, um, which cuts costs for business down and obviously creates a permanent asset. Um, but go back a step to promote specials, that bottom, middle, uh, top there. The reason we, we love that so much is because everything that we create, everything virtual that we create is updatable. So you make it once, you can go back in two days, two months, two years, and we can come back to site, take another photo, restitch that photo into the tour, and make sure that if you change that wall or, or that construction fence that you saw in the distance is gone and your business doesn't have to put up with it anymore, we can replace that scene with a new scene where the construction's mm. gone. Um, big thing for hotels, um, when they refurbish their rooms, don't need to take the whole to hotel again. We just need to take that room that's been refurbished. Um, if a retail store has specials, um, well, great. Put a, a Christmas special on your wall, um, you know, whatever it might be, and then in, in January, let's pull it down and, and just put your normal um, yeah. scene up there again with a different special on it, a New Year's special or an Easter special. So you can continually revitalise your, your 360 asset with new content, and all it takes is for us to come back, reshoot usually even one or two photos, which is very quick, um, and then um, re-stitch it in and re-release it to you. It's it's not that expensive and it's not that um, it doesn't take long at all, which is really great. So that's great. Um, probably um, on that point, we were chatting before we started about mm. a couple of questions that people sometimes have. Mm. And one of the questions is, well, how long does it going to take to mm. do this? Because you know, my business is sensitive. I don't want to be impacted. I don't want delays. Um, it's very quick. Um, the, the time it takes is in the production studio when we take the photos away and put it together into an experience. If we were to do a cafe, sometimes all we need is an hour. 
we don't need long at all. Um, if, if it was a uh, like, um, okay, Southgate, for example, they've got three or floors of corridors and, and, and shops and everything. We'll get that knocked over in two in two days, um, at two mornings. So for those guys, it's not a big impact. But if it's a restaurant, a couple of hours. Um, if it's a, if it's a, a small hotel where you want to showcase one of each room, a foyer, maybe some parking areas, maybe some exterior, um, you know, local areas nearby that are important you might take a few hours inside a few hours outside and then we're gone and then it's about us going back to the studio and putting everything together much like web does in terms of all the all the the meaty stuff he's done behind the scenes and you get a wonderful product at the end of it and that's what we do too um, so um, the impact on your business is absolutely minimal some some people prefer it empty like if it's a restaurant they prefer it to be empty but they don't want people inside other people want people inside so we can do both um, and if it's a public space um, you know, we can do uh, obviously wayfinding parts of public and if we're in public, you know, and there's people there, that's great. Makes Perfect. people feel like they're actually not alone. Um, so we find a nice balance between what works for the business um, and what's most effective in a virtual tour. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the link I mentioned. Um, so certainly with this presentation, um, that dot, uh, so vertical.com.au forward slash gallery, uh, that is the place where you'll find a lot of, uh, a lot of these demos online as well. Um, yeah, so I definitely encourage you to visit that and, and this contact page where you can obviously talk to us about as well. Um, so a couple of frequently asked questions that people often have. Um, uh, firstly, yes, the tour can be embedded into your own website. Um, we make it so much that uh, it's called an iframe um, or if you're not that technically savvy and you don't and you might have a maybe a, a Wix website or a, or a templated website that isn't easily changed, you can just put in a picture and hyperlink it to uh, the tour, uh, which we can host for you at a very small rate. So there's always a way to get your 360 experience up and live very, very quickly. Um, most customers will embed it themselves on their website, which is great, um, and it's just a matter of putting a bit of code. Uh, and we can help you with that all the way to the end. Obviously, a web firm, the guys know exactly what they're doing, so um, if you're speaking to those guys about a uh, website development, it can be integrated um, so easily. Um, the second second point there, um, they can all be used on social media, which is huge these days. So whether it's Facebook, YouTube, um, whether it's you know, comments on Twitter linking to a, a, a social media, uh, sorry, a, a virtual tour, um, they can all be used for social media, which is hugely important. You can I circulate think, these. I think things. that would uh, work really, really well paired up with um, you know, some form of Facebook advertising. Yes. That would absolutely smash it. If it you does. Have a hotel or something like that. Absolutely so you can does. See what yeah, targeting yeah. it perfectly. Yeah. It would work really well. And I think if you pair those two, two things together, you're getting the, the most rich content you can get yeah. and you're using the most, one of the most powerful marketing Absolutely. platforms you can get. Yeah. So yeah, it, it puts these two worlds together and the synergistic effect is just is just fantastic. Um, and that's why it's so effective, particularly on social media. I think it's I think the rate's about seven times to share. So if people have um, we've done we've done the numbers ourselves and if people have a standard Facebook ad, um, it's great, it works um, really well. But if you link in 360 content with that, I think the share rate to other friends is about seven times mm -hmm. higher wow. than a regular and, share rate. And I think I think Facebook would see the extra engagement because mm -hmm. you're actually clicking on it a lot and spending a bit more time on it. Absolutely. Um, even compared to a video. Yeah, yeah, um, so absolutely. Have a positive impact too. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And in so much that Facebook are one of the biggest investors in 360 VR technology. Yeah, right. um, the, the, this company called Oculus, which they bought, and they drive most of the technology. Um, and uh, yeah, so Facebook have actually invested I in love the, it. There's been billions on the platform to make 360 and VR possible. So it makes sense that, mm. their, that their ad system yeah. is, is going to synergistically, you know, work really well with 360 media. So, so that's, that's, um, that's, that's already, already seen those results. Um, most 360 content have no ongoing costs, yours to own. That's how we, that's how we do things. Um, unless you want us to host it for you, we, which we can do that, but we, we make all of our content that belongs to you. So a lot of, a lot of customers um, love that because there's no ongoing cost if you don't want them. Um, we build an asset, we give it to you, it's on your website and it's yours. You don't need to keep paying us, um, only if you want us to host it for you, which as I said, is, is, is an option that's available. Um, and I mentioned before about updating. That was probably one of the other questions which people often are concerned about is, well, I'll, I'll do it once, but next year what happens or in six months time, as I said, they're always updatable in the future. Um, and we'll support you all the way. So we have obviously techs, photographers, um, I'm a marketer, um, we have an, another couple of guys on board who are tech marketing uh, obviously through and through. So we can help you from the conception of your of your virtual tour from a marketing perspective, what's important, what's your message, what do you want it to do, 
all the way through to integrating it into a website. Um, so uh, you, you're not left in um, anything but the best hands, um, I can proudly say. Um, we know what we're doing and we do it well, and we make a lot of companies happy with the fact that we can give them amazing content and we can go A to Z fairly easily. So, yeah. um, And if, if, it's, if it's beyond our regular plug-in capabilities, clearly web firm are, are, are our absolute pick for web design as well. So we've had a lot of experiences with these guys. Um, okay, so um, probably the last thing I'll cover um, is the offer, and then perhaps we can jump to some questions. Terrific, yes. um, so the offer is um, quite generous. Um, it's, it's We really want to give people a lot of value um, in the December, January period. So we're taking bookings this year. Um, we need to schedule them all for December and January amongst um, several other projects that we're running. Um, but essentially for six fifty, we'll give you a small business package. That'll mean a full virtual tour um, of a small business location and obviously um, contact us about it. We can talk you through the options, um, show you some examples so you know what we're talking about. Clearly it's, it's a little hard from a, a, a presentation, but um, we can then obviously go through what that means. Um, if, you wanna, if you're a medium sized business, we, we've got a special offer for 900 instead of usually around 1500 and if you're a larger business, um, obviously 1250 is about half the price. Um, and so that's like whether your business is a single business, a double story business, maybe it's a hotel, there's different variations as to what we go. But definitely talk to us and we can go from there. Um, if you're wanting a, a virtual wayfinding tour, which of course they're quite a lot larger, then have a chat to us and we, we will give you a, a very a very uh, a great rate for uh, the uh, December, January period. With wayfinding, we can potentially stretch that into February because they do take a bit longer to make. Um, so, all right. So, I think we're going to jump into some questions, I believe, now. Yeah, that'll be great. We've had a few come through. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, webinars are terrific like this. They can be highly interactive, so keep them coming. Um, a question from Tony, I guess, a real, a real tourism question. Do you think there's any danger that the videos might get so good and so real that people don't actually need to come and visit? Their sites. No, um, does it uh, replace the experience? It, it it doesn't. It's a it's a actually it's a very very good question. Thanks, Tony. Um, and the reason is this: um, we actually uh, did a lot of work and still do a lot of work with real estate. Um, and one of the biggest arguments that estate agents have is, well, we don't want people to see too much online, want them to come and see the house. Um, nothing replaces the in-person experience. Um, and you'll find that um, what it does it is incentivizes people even more to come down and visit. And that's why it's important to show people only the bits you want them to see, but, sh but show them everything you want them to see. Um, because even places like Eastland uh, and Westfield, they're, they're incorporating beacon technology, they're incorporating virtual technology, um, but they, they, they're still shopping centres. They still want people to come down, and tourism is no different. So it does not replace the personal experience. You will definitely get a boost in your online activity and potentially your online sales um, compared to regular channels but uh, it does not replace the personal experience, absolutely not. Mm. Um, and it's a matter of utilising that extra asset to, to boost it. So um, excellent question, mm. uh, and it, 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 it enhances the experience. And people still need to come. We all need to go out for a, a Sunday trip to the beach and still go there and totally. have an ice cream. We totally. cannot do it virtually. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm yeah, a big believer in, in just making it easy. So yeah, yeah good question. Perfect, thanks Tony. Um, Stephanie asks, in an ever-changing market, um, and I guess marketing is changing so rapidly all the time now, why should a business invest in VR marketing um, when things are only likely to change in a couple of years' time? Uh, yeah, look, definitely another good question. Or um, yeah, or quicker. Look, they will change. Um, 360 is um, is probably the where to chat before we come online, and really. Um, there's a lot of tools coming out in terms of the augmented reality um, and enhanced virtual reality. Um, but 360 is the base for that. So whatever you do now in 360 can be utilized and migrated into future VR and future AR tools. So because the, the platform has been developed as a, as a growing platform, um, uh, for tourism especially, um, that anything you do now can be used now, um, but it can also be rehashed in 12 months time, in 15 months time, when maybe the platform will change, but we can use the same assets. Um, so it's, it's definitely uh, an ongoing uh, asset that you're going to purchase when you buy a 360 tool because it will turn into AR eventually. It will turn into a different type of VR as things get better and better. Um, but they built it as a technology which, which moves forward. Mm. Yeah, terrific. Um, a question here uh, from an anonymous Person. Does your website need to be secure um, to run this? Look, it doesn't, no. It, okay. It'll run on secure or it's just a standard non-secure HTTP. Um, okay. it, it'll run on either. Um, the, uh, a lot of the 3D showcases we do, uh, there's one particular doc that's hosted in the cloud, um, and, but it will run on a secure or non-secure site. 
If you want to put it behind a, a secure password access, you can. Some of the companies do that for training, but um, but no, it doesn't need to be on a secure site. Perfect. It'll work on both. Um, I have a question here from Suzanne um, from Creative Planet Media. She obviously know what she knows what she's talking about here, but she asks, happily experiences are largely unconstructed today. What is the best way of ensuring that the experience comes across as a great coherent story rather than an erratic, unconnected virtual grabs? Okay, yeah, that, and, that, and that's, a, that's a really important point about creating a flow. Um, because the experience is absolutely so vital, what we do is we sit down and we plan what other key important points um, on that they want to convey. So with a virtual tour, some of them are designed as a free flow, so clearly the person can make their own way around. Um, but if you want a targeted experience, what we do is we embed data into the panoramas that guide people. So if you want to, for example, drive someone, in, keep a 360 experience of the different places, but if you want to drive someone to a particular place, then we embed um, signage into the 360 panoramas, we embed guides, we embed notations, we embed images, and we make it so that when you enter into that experience, you can be guided through to a certain place. So that storyboard effect takes place. Um, so some packages are, are open, as I said, where it's just wherever the customer wants to go. They're more wayfinding things. If it's a dedicated direct experience that you want to actually tell a story, we can utilize embedded media to guide them through and to tell that story. Um, when you change one scene to the next, you might be walking your way through, uh, I don't know, for say, for example, a museum. Um, we, when you switch from one scene to the next, we can have a different audio play. Uh, so you can have someone talking you through the different scenes to create that flow on of experience from an audio perspective and we can create the flow on um, um, and we can even limit the, the, the areas they can go by only putting the links in the right spaces. So you can really tailor that experience to make it a, a targeted focused experience that flows or you can leave it open. So, mm. so we, we definitely cover both times. Flexibility there too. Absolute flexibility, that's right. Uh, a question here from one of our regional members and we do have a few so this is a good one and a logistical one. Um, the question is, we're placed in West Gippsland, we're at B&B. Uh, do you guys travel and if so, are there any extra costs involved in getting you out to my business? Yeah. Okay. So look, we, we do do some um, some country work. Um, we try and batch it together. It is a bit more expensive because we've got to get out there, of course, but we, uh, we try and we put it all uh, as quickly and efficiently as we can. So for example, um, it might uh, cost, let's, let's look at cost at the same time as answering that question. Yep. Um, if it's just a simple um, tour of a, of a very small location, it, as it might be you know, $500 or $1,000 for us to shoot it and, and put it together. Um, if we were traveling out to, um, you know, if it's West Gippsland, um, it depends how far we go, um, we just need to cover our travel costs. You know, we, we are Melbourne based. We do do some Sydney work as well. But if it's regional, um, we will just make sure that we, we look after you as best we can in terms of our travel costs. Um, but yes, we can do it. We're very happy to do it. Um, we, we do have some on the board where it's um, out, um, I think, you know, uh, more eastern Victoria at this stage. But um, uh, the cost would probably um, be a little bit more than our CBD prices. But obviously, we, we will definitely look after you. Um, and I think you alluded to it before, um, actually still on screen, with the small business and medium business, larger business, you create bespoke packages by the sounds of it and you can yep. sort of scale it towards what a business needs and exactly. um, their budget as well. Yeah, yeah, they have to yeah. be bespoke. They have to really focus on what's important to the business. So um, so it is scalable. So really an, an experience can be as little as, you know, 500 to 1,000. If it's a, a big one, um, it can be in the thousands. Um, or, or tens of thousands. If it's mm. a, if we were doing the entirety of Melbourne, it would be you know, a mm. big job. But um, but we do we do scale. So um, the average price for a tour uh, for a business is in that sort of um, nine fifty to two to two and a half thousand dollar range. The average price, um, and depending on what they want for that price. Um, but I would definitely encourage anyone, doesn't matter where you are, because we have a lot of inquiries from other parts of uh, Australia. We even 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 in Queensland and New South, um, and we often batch groups together to mm. bring that cost down for that area. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. So, so we, we might have to put you back a month um, or, or maybe two months, um, but we'd rather do that, give you a look, if we come to you in two weeks time, this is the price, but if you can wait six weeks, mm. um, here is the price because there's someone else in your area. Um, we, we're doing that quite a bit um, Gee, for true. other areas. So if you're prepared to wait, It'll, it'll be better, um, but if you want it now, we can give you that price as well. See, that's so. a good message and something that I think local councils and regional tourism boards can have a think yeah. about as well and try and get a collective of their their businesses together mm. to, yeah, to utilise you guys. They, they can, for sure. Yeah. And, and if, if the local council does a base, um, then of course, um, then that base, they can show that to their um, local businesses and then as stage two, we can actually then um, you know, 
look at approaching the businesses where they can and add into the base. Doesn't have to be done at once, like South Yarra, uh, sorry, Yarra River. Um, it was one tour, and now we're going back and adding in the businesses to that main tour. Yeah, perfect. Um, we had a look at some of the logos of the businesses you've worked with before, a lot of them around members. Um, do you have any favourite businesses that you've worked with or, or any ones that you're really proud of the results that you've achieved with them? Um, I think probably, yeah, look, definitely, like, everyone loves MTG. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that, that, that was a good one. Um, and it was a real pleasure to do that. And that's being expanded on um, uh, um, with some planning for next year, um, all going well. Um, and Grand Height is a massive, uh, beautiful tour um, for any hotel that wants to know what that's like, that one there. We're doing the Melbourne Star in, in probably Jan Feb, um, oh, which wow. is going to be great. Um, and the Eureka Tower we're in production right now. So those will be online or Eureka Tower will be available very shortly. And that looks absolutely amazing. Wow. So my, my picks would be things like you know, MCG, the Grand Hyatt, mm -hmm. Eureka when it comes online. Um, and, and if you want to see a lovely outdoor one, just jump to yarrariver.melbourne um, okay. and look at the tour there. It's, it's, it just gives you a real beautiful picture of how, how good it looks. Perfect. Um, a question here, um, asking I guess specifically, and you can take this offline with um, the question, which of the three types of tours would you recommend for a hotel or restaurant? Okay. Um, hotel or restaurant, I'd recommend uh, the, well, the second tour. So what that means is it's a showcase. It would showcase each room. Um, it, would, it would showcase um, the, the the main areas of the hotel and, and really include some some shots, 360 shots of some exterior, um, uh, you know, travel and tourist areas. Like, for example, with the Grand Hyatt, um, we also included shots of the MCG, uh, Fed Square, things like that. So you wouldn't recommend a wayfinding tour. You'd recommend a 3D showcase or a customised virtual tour. Um, that would be the best way because um, Grand Hyatt chose to wayfind their way through the foyer. Um, you don't have to do that. You can have it like a, a scene after scene, um, almost like a carousel, but in 360. Um, so I would recommend a, a 360 virtual tour with some custom uh, menus to make sure the experience flows smoothly. Perfect. Yep. A practical question here from Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Would you actually add the tour experience into his ex existing website or would um, Jamie have to do that himself? No, we can definitely help you with that. So we're happy to liaise with your web guys um, and, and give them the code and, and tell them how to fit it in. Uh, it's very, very easy. Um, uh, it's called iframe embedding um, and quite honestly, once we tell the web guys what to do, um, we, can, we can guide them through that and we can take care of that as part of your package. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fine. Um, a question from me here, Jason. I'm interested. Do you think that businesses run the risk of becoming irrelevant if they don't jump on board with this kind of marketing um, now or soon? Yeah. I mean, the engagement rates are so high, it would almost seem like a form of um, business insurance to get on board with this. But that's kind a of great way to put it. Um, <laughs> great way to put it. Um, not just because this is all we do, and um, but the answer is absolutely yes. Um, and the reason it's all we do is because it's it's such a big part of what's what businesses need going forward. So, um, yeah, they do run the risk of being left, being left behind 100% because the world is becoming very quickly um, a 360 virtualised type of world. When AR does hit in a couple of years as a, as a reality in terms of our everyday consumer life, um, when it does sort of hit, um, if you're not in the, in the virtual <coughs> space already substantially, um, you, you It'll be too big, too big a leap, too big a gap. Yeah. Um, so get involved now. Um, get, get the benefits now, mm. um, and, and please don't be left behind because you know, you, you, it will happen mm. if you don't do something. It will happen. The world is moving that it, way. It, it's that quick. I got a question, Jason. Um, I was just wondering if you know if um, uh, these can be sort of into if, if Booking.com or, or those sorts of you know Airbnb and that sort of thing. Are, yep. Are starting to adopt these types of technologies and if it's possible to integrate with them um, there's will. probably a few hoteliers on, Absolutely. on call at the moment yeah, they yeah it that. will be we've actually um, uh, flagged some conversations with um, Expedia and, and yep. bookings.com and, and hotels.com.au um, early this year um, they're preparing for it um, they, they know it's coming um, and at the moment they're not integrating it as a, as a as a part of their interface, but they do know it's coming and they are preparing for it. So when they do switch it on, you definitely yeah. want to be in a position where you've got your content ready to go. Whack it straight in. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, um, but, but we have opened those conversations and, and they do know that it is coming. Um, so it could be tomorrow, it could be next month, but someone will pop up, whether it's on Chilago or whatever, someone will pop up and, and say, and now here it is in 360. Mm. It will happen, as whether it's a day or a month away or a year away, we don't know, but they do know it's coming. And then yeah. I think the rest will be playing catch up, won't they? Yep. There, once someone goes live with it, they will. They will be yeah. on. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, especially with the integration. I mean, everyone sees Google's integration of Street View and Inside View and Hotel Inside View. They have a lot of those experiences that that can be integrated. But um, 
there's always a Google experience. It's never really totally your own. Um, nothing wrong with, with Google's experiences in that sense, but um, I would just envisage that as part of your um, web marketing plan to make it yours, to own the content, to track the content, to, to be able to change the content, and, um, build your own, get it into your website, um, and when those uh, hotel platforms do come online, those booking platforms, you'll be ready to go. Mm. Um, and you'll have all those benefits in the meantime. Great. Uh, I think we've got time for one last question. Rebecca is a little concerned. She's a small business owner. Um, she has a small B and B, and is just concerned that her business might be too small for something like this. What no way. Yeah. Look, nothing's too small, Rebecca. Um, and it's it's a question that we get a lot when we have calls from small businesses a lot. Um, it, it it really is uh, a matter of what do customers want to see, um, and they do. If you're a B and B, um, I go back to the point um, that is sort of widely known in the VR space, the virtual space, is that two out of three people, and this has been statistically proven, um, two out of three people want to see a virtual uh, image of your room and your and your space to understand what you're offering and to get inside it. The people are get, getting quite sick and tired of these flat 2D pictures. Mm. Um, um, and uh, for you, even if you're a small business, uh, to have a, just a, a nice, easy, small 360 view of your rooms and maybe your, your dining spaces, your reception areas, it doesn't take much. It takes a couple of hours on site to do the photography and then you know some production time behind the scenes. And that's those sort of packages that say the 650 will be perfect for you, someone like yourself, Rebecca, because um, it will give you some online to use permanently um, it's not very expensive um, and you can use it straight away so not too small in fact this, every business in very much smaller ones need to find a way to stand out very Perfect. much so yeah that's a that's a fantastic price I might say yeah um, in comparing that to Google this is a custom sort of customized experience because yes. I know Google come and they just do their, their typical sort of thing they, they do you know, blanket all sort of um, uh, approach. They don't really customise it in any way. So that's a real. That's a, yeah, I was quite surprised to see those prices. Yeah, yeah. So. We, we sort of we, we've made things fairly optimised. We, yeah. we, you know, we've got a lot of a lot of tech behind what we do to make it as easy as possible. Um, and the pricing is, yeah, as I said, it's it's almost half price. Um, and we're doing that for VTIC members because you know it's it's a great initiative, and that's why we're proud to be here today. So yeah, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Jason, You're for welcome. coming thank in you. and taking us through it. I think. Um, I think this is honestly the new frontier for marketing. I knew nothing about it before we started today. So it's been terrific for my learning, but I'm sure that um, all of our members that are on, online today and listening to this will have taken a lot away and um, no doubt we'll be <laughs> sending you a few emails in the next couple of days. Absolutely so, look forward to it. Thanks, yeah, everyone. Perfect. Thank you. Um, before we go, everybody, I'd like to draw your attention to our next webinar, which is happening in the new year. Um, we are done for 2017, so looking forward to 2018. We kick it back off in February uh, and we are going to be welcoming uh, Richard Williams from the Victorian Chamber of Commerce who is going to be speaking on WPR, so workplace relations issues. So this is all about managing staff and managing them effectively uh, and also making sure that you don't get into trouble because we know that um, the workplace relations issues can spiral out of control. So all about managing your risk here. Um, Richard's been with the Chamber for um, several years and is highly experienced, so a good one to get along to um, if you do have staff that you're managing. That's, uh, that's happening on 21 Feb. Going back to some upcoming events uh, for the 2018 uh, VTIC calendar. So our Mixer series kicks off on the 7th of February. Um, like the webinar series, we host one of these every month and we go to um, some local restaurants, hotels, venues, um, and this is a very casual, informal environment. Um, we have happy hour price drinks, and it's all about getting together and networking um, after work, it, always on a Wednesday. So the first one of those is 7th of February, happening with Belinda Lee. She's going to be hosting us down at the Novotel uh, Melbourne St Kilda. Um, as I said, 21 Feb, our first uh, webinar for the year, WPR. Uh, and then on 28th of February, one to get along to, the VTIC and Tourism Australia Visitor Economy Forum. So that's uh, happening for most of the day on Wednesday, 28th of Feb, down at the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Centre. Um, it's going to be a program launch, essentially. So we're going to be talking to our members um, and others about our program of work for the year, what we consider important in terms of advocacy because we're coming into an election year. Um, it's the Olympic Games year as many people have been calling it a big one for us. So talking to you guys about um, what will be our chief concerns for the year. Peter Bingaman um, from Visit Vic will be there as well, Tourism Australia, um, and $40 uh, only for a full day for members to attend that. So um, should be a good one and uh, look forward to seeing a lot of you there. Uh, and then I think finally, thank you to WebFirm for hosting this series for us again this year. It's been terrific. We've had 10. Um, so thank you to Reese, Tristan and Andy and the team. 
um, for hosting us. We look forward to doing it next year. Um, and from Ian McDougall and myself signing off from VTIC, improving the world one webinar at a time.